Marie Therese Ferret. I am the Director of Talent Acquisition and Training Development here uh, at the Perry Restaurant Group. I am very happy and excited to be a part of the team. And today, I am going to be training and teaching and interacting with you uh, for our day one orientation. Now, some of you have been here more than day one. Uh, you've been here a long time. How many have been here more than a month? Raise your hand. More than a year, raise your hands. More than five years, raise your hands. Excellent. So, come on in. Sign in for me, please, if you don't mind, sir. Thank you. So, Joe and Rosalie really wanted to make sure that their team members were taken care of. And we only want to hire top talent, the best of the best. How many of you agree that we have the best of the best in the room today? Raise your hand. Absolutely, absolutely. And so what this training is, because some of you are looking at me like, what is this all about, right? Um, it's about service excellence. It's about some policies and procedures. Now, I like to stick to the service excellence because that's the, that's the fun part, and that's the part that most of you are familiar with, and that is the part of who you are. Whether you're in the front of the house or the back of the house, we are each other's customer. We are what's called the internal guest. And we also have the external guest. What guest do we deal with the most every single day? Our internal guest, right? We see each other sometimes more than we see our own families, right? So it's important that we treat each other as well as our guest, if not better than our guest. Okay. It's important that we understand that because when we treat each other with kindness and respect, that goes a long way. That creates a climate, an atmosphere. So if we're arguing and there's contention going on in the back of the house, and then as servers or hostess or whomever, and we bring that into the front of the house, that tension can be felt. Right? Do you agree with that? Yes. Absolutely. And if we can feel that tension amongst each other, who else can feel that tension on that side? Our customers, absolutely. So our customer is an integral part of who we are as a business. Without our customers, we do not exist, right? So that is why we have this class here today. Now, a little bit about me. I come, uh, my history is from MGM Grand Detroit. How many of you are familiar with MGM Grand? It's a casino hotel in uh, Detroit, and they have casinos all over the world. There's over 33 casino properties all over the world. And so with their properties, they want to have the most excellent customer service that they can possibly have. So who do they hire in to train their team customer excellence? Does anyone know? How many of you have heard of Forbes Travel Guide? Yes. So when you see five stars or four stars next to a hotel or a casino, know they are the best of the best in the entire world because they are collaborating with Forbes Travel Guide, who gave the real stars. Okay? And so these standards are stringent standards. Every single area within the casino gets raided. They are shop. They have secret shops that come in from Forbes Travel Guide. You don't know them from any other customer, and they grade you on your level of service, your level of excellence, the level of cleanliness. How many of you are familiar with the triple A standards? Triple A, they grade more of the tangibles. And now fourth, they grade not only the tangibles, but the intangibles. What is an intangible? Who knows what an intangible is? Like something that you can't touch, like maybe like your attitude or your, like how you greet the guests, stuff like that. Exactly. A smile is an intangible. Eye contact is an intangible. Body language, appearance is an intangible. And we are graded on all of those things every single day. Now, we may not have Forbes Travel Guide coming in and doing our grading, but we do have our customers 
that do that, right? And what kind of restaurants are the Andiamo and the Jomir restaurants? What kind of restaurants are they? What would they be classified as? Fine dining. Fine dining. So when you're in a fine dining restaurant, what do you anticipate that you'll see? <coughs> Sabina? A five-star restaurant. Five dining service. Outstanding. That means the best of the best. Now, many of you come from all different backgrounds, different cultures, and when we're coming here together, we're going to learn the common culture of Joe, uh, excuse me, Joe Curry Restaurant Group, Joe Near Seafood, and Andiamo, okay? So this is what we're gonna be talking about today. Upon completion of this orientation session today, you will be able to utilize your service skills perfectly by consistently implementing simple yet professional guest service strategies for both our internal and our external guests. You will also have an understanding of the Joe Bacari Restaurant Group's expectations for our policies and procedures. How many of you have been here one year or more? Raise your hand. Can you tell me what our mission statement is? Do you know? I just know it's a very long one. It's a very long one. <laughs> Would you just care to summarize that very long statement, just maybe in a word or two? Well, um, the most important part of the mission statement is being able to treat or um, doing every request for every guest every time. And so we are feeling very passionate about what we do every day, making sure that we deliver great service and fresh talent. Excellent. Even when no one is looking, beautiful. So those are some of the things that we're going to be talking about today. What is our mission statement? Are we living our mission? Are we? Is it who we are as a person? Is it something that we need to learn? So here's our agenda for today. We'll talk about our mission statement, our founding history, our leadership team, which is extremely important, our locations. We're going to have some introductions so we can get to know each other. We're bringing you in from all of our locations, which I love. We're going to talk about five-star service standards, policies, and procedures. We're going to wrap up, and we're going to ask for your questions and your feedback. So it's going to be an okay kind of a day. We're going to have fun today. Um, I don't like a stuffy uh, training session where it's just a dead PowerPoint and somebody's up here monotone. So you're going to see me walking around a lot. I'm going to be calling on you. Expect to participate. That's why you have your little name tents in front of you. Uh, I just feel it's very important because what happens in these training sessions is I learn from you. So you're going to tell me some things that maybe moving forward we can add into our training seg segments in our modules. So here's our mission statement. We are fueled by our passion of what we do every day, delivering exceptional service and true authentic cuisine to our valuable guests. Every meal, every request, every time. We are a team and family committed to each other's success, doing the right thing even when no one is looking. That's integrity, isn't it? Absolutely. How many of you see this every day? Raise your hand. Well, I would like to hope so. Does it sometimes fall to the wayside? Depending on if emotions are involved and there's stress and there's things like that. But we're going to talk about how to keep it together when you're in those kind of environments. What are those triggers that keeps you calm, cool, and collected? How many of you have met uh, Mr. Vicari? Uh, excuse me, Vicari. I don't want to mispronounce his uh, name. And Chef Jim Offit puts it a very easy way to memorize his last name and how to pronounce it correctly. He said, because we care, they care, Vicari. And uh, so that kind of stuck with me. So I knew right away I mispronounced the last name. Now, uh, Joe, he is our founder and our CEO. He is of Italian descent and has built the Vicari Restaurant Group based on three simple principles. Great food, great family, and a great zest for life. How many of you enjoy your job so far? Yeah? Are you learning a lot? Yes. Absolutely. I love this place because if you're not learning, you're not growing. 
And if you're in an environment where you're not growing, you might as well just throw in the towel, right? So I think it's very, very important. So this is a quote. Our passion is quality products. We believe that when great food is paired with excellent service and atmosphere, lasting memories are created. Joe operates his business based on personal belief that treating other people well will enhance your life. We are committed to having a team that feels that that personal belief is an integral part of growing the business. Many members of our team have been with us from the beginning. Finding their own professional growth has mirrored the growth of the business. We have an amazing team. There have been team members with this company for 30 years. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Tom has been with us for 30 years. Beautiful. And he is also a partner with the Andiano and Joe Carey Restaurant Group. So he believes in what this is all about. And Joe grew this business from the, I, wasn't it the Country Inns, Tom? Was his first uh, endeavor. And then grew it into this fabulous, fabulous uh, Joe Bacuri restaurant group. So it's important that we're a part of it. And you do not see people retiring with the business that they started in like you did many years ago. Like when I was growing up, you know, you started a company and you knew you were going to retire with that company. But now, does that happen? No, not so much. Because as soon as you get to a certain level, or a certain age, that company's looking to replace you with something that's going to be a little bit younger and de uh, demand a little bit less money. However, with this type of industry, the restaurant industry, they're always looking to hire. Why? Because people need to eat. People want to be pampered. I love fine dining because I'm a foodie and I love fine food. What can you tell me about our restaurant that is different than most restaurants today? Yes, Jump Jump. Everything is authentic. Uh, we bring it in, we process it, make sure no hormones or anything that is underneath or seafood. Absolutely, absolutely. So we only want the best of the best. And those of you who are on the roster for tomorrow, you'll get to meet Chef Jim, and he'll talk about all of the food, the menu products, how to pronounce it, where it came from, and why. And the PowerPoint that I put together is a visual tour. You will actually get to see where our products come from, where it is on the map, and it's very exciting. On day three, you'll get to meet our sommelier. For those of you who will get to stay for day three, you'll get to meet John Rodriguez. You'll get to taste the wines. You'll, he'll talk about the menu. Uh, the wine menu. So it's very exciting, very exciting. The training that you get with Joe McCurry Restaurant Group is second to none. How many of you are working in the back of the house? Raise your hand and raise it high. Are you a busser, a server, a dishwasher, a line cook, a chef, a sous chef? Oh, um, prep cook, cook. Prep cook and cook. Yes, sir. Pantry, hot apps, uh, dishwasher, if needed, um, Excellent. Uh, prep. Excellent. So prep as well. Anyone over here? Back of house? Okay, I'm a server. Did that come? You said server, right? You're a server. You're front of the house then. Yes, sir. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Awesome. And you know what? I wanted to see and identify where my dishwashers are before getting started. Because I met with a young man and his wife over the weekend. And they needed to be surf safe certified. So I am a proctor, so I certify them. And they are 22 years old. The young man, Tom, I was saying, yes, Tom, this is what I do. I work for Joe Vaccari Restaurant Group. I love this company. He said, I started with Joe Vaccari. I was a dishwasher. And now he is owning his own business in Wyandotte, him and his wife. And their little restaurant is called the Pierogi Cafe. And so I just said to myself, this is why I love my dishwashers and every position within the restaurant industry because this class today is something you can take with you forever and ever and ever, no matter where you go in the industry. You're learning standards that are taught by Forbes Travel Guide. 
because I can't think any different than that. I have the highest standards etched in my brain. And I know that each one of you do too, because once you have those high standards etched in your brain, everywhere you go, you are rating that level of service. How many of you agree with that? Raise your hand. Absolutely. Absolutely. So whether I'm at a restaurant or I'm at Walmart or I'm at Neiman Marcus, I am rating that level of service all the time. And guess what? I am paying my money to that organization. So if they are not meeting the level of service that I'm expecting, because that's hard-earned money, right? Then I'm probably going to walk right out. How many of you have ever done that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you work hard for your money. And so when I, when I put this slide up with Joe Vicari, I'm telling you that this man appreciates every single person in this room right now today. And he wants you to grow and be the best of the best. To tell your friends about the company that you work for. So they will want to work for this company as well. Right? I think that's huge. Very, very important. So we talked a little bit about Chef Jim. You're so funny. He's still young. I was just thinking that today when I was smiling. I was thinking that about Chef today when I was getting ready. He does he drinks green drinks. He definitely takes great care of himself. Um, but you'll get to meet him tomorrow. So just to let you know that our philosophy was created over 30 years ago by the late master chef Aldo Ottaviani. And Chef Jim, he's so funny, he said he's smiling in this picture. He said he always had that look on his face and he always wore a suit underneath his, um, his uh, coat and he was just always very professional. But he said, buy the freshest seasonal ingredients and prepare them from scratch every single day. So what sets us apart from other restaurants? Our food is homemade every day. Back here in the back, I, I had the privilege this morning of saying good morning to the ladies. Three Italian ladies, they have been making our pasta homemade from scratch every single day for all of our restaurants. Amazing. We do not freeze our food. We do not open boxes or cans. We get the best of the best. So when you're sitting down at an Andiamo, you know that that is the freshest seasonal ingredients that you can possibly get. And we use a lot of our artesian uh, farms and artisans uh, in the area. So if that's important for us. Now this belief resonates today. It is carried on by corporate executive chef Jim Offit, uh, and he lives by the same philosophy. How many of you will be joining us tomorrow? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I cannot wait for you. How many will be joining us on Wednesday for the wine tasting? Awesome. That is such an amazing class as well. You're really, really going to enjoy it. And we're going to talk a little bit uh, about uh, the Vicaries. Uh, they're great philanthropers. Um, Joe Vicari Restaurant Group is also a stellar example of giving back to the community. And I think this is extremely important to talk about. Um, he gives to numerous organizations, including the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, the Henry Ford Hospital, the uh, Hermelin Brain Tumor Center, and the St. John's Hospital. And um, I just I found out that um, Joe's uh, dad died of a brain tumor. And so it's very, very important for him to give back. Uh, to the community. So he has an amazing heart, a big heart. Um, and so, you know, what makes us different than working for a corporate restaurant is that we're working for an owner that has an amazing heart. He really, really does. And giving back is a big part of who he is in a natural way. And then we have our corporate, just to talk about our leadership team, our corporate uh, director of operations, Gabriel Vera. And he will be joining us at some part of the day. Uh, he always comes in to say hello. How many of you know Gabriel? Raise your hand. He's the great guy. He will roll up his sleeves and get in there and just really help out whenever he can. Um, Gabriel and I go back to MGM. Uh, he is also a chef. How many of you knew that? Yes, he was a garmanger at uh, Michael Mina restaurant. 
Saltwater Bistro. I don't know if you're familiar. Great restaurant uh, at MGM. I don't think it's still there anymore. They took it down. Uh oh. Now we're going to go back and talk a little bit about our restaurants. How many of you are from Lavon, or excuse me, um, our Trattorias, Clarkston, Livonia, Sterling Heights? Raise your hand. Excellent, excellent. Oh, and here's Gabriel. Say hello. Hello, Gabriel. <laughs> hello, Gabriel. Um, so when I first came aboard, I'm like, what is the difference between a restaurante and a trattoria? Who can tell me the difference? Yes, sir. Trattoria is more like fast food. It's more like fast food in Italy. Even though it's not really fast food because they still believe in cooking the food fresh and from scratch. But it's more of a faster pace, a more relaxed environment. When you go to a restaurant, hey Nick, what are you expecting? Uh, the full service. Full service. Full service. Even though uh, where are my Sterling Heights people? Do we get full service in Sterling Heights? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, a little bit more relaxed. You would think, yeah, it is a little bit more relaxed. So for a rustic Italian dining experience, our guests can visit one of our three Andiamo, Andiamo Trattorias locations in Livonia, Sterling Heights, and Clarkston. Then we have our Ristorante locations for our fine dining experience, consisting of modern Italian dishes and Andiamo favorites. Our guests can visit one of our four Ristorante locations in Bloomfield, Dearborn, Detroit, and Warren. But what about Benton? Is it a ristorante or a trattoria? <laughs> well, it's our next generation. And so it's really hard to kind of put that identity on it. Um, if you have not been out to Benton to see our latest edition, I invite you all to do so. And I'm coming all the way from Brownstown and driving all the way to Benton. And it is absolutely gorgeous and amazing and worth the drive. Uh, I recommend highly the Branzino. Amazing. Uh, if you love uh, Chilean sea bass, it blows it out of the water. I mean, blows it away. <laughs> and I love it. It's absolutely delicious. So here we are, Fenton. The next generation of Aniamo features a new modern stylist stylish and fun layout with a host of amenities, including indoor and outdoor dining options, a Four Seasons room, and a large bar with a lounge seating and areas for private dining and events. Jojo, tell us about Fenton. What are some of the features that you love the most or that our guests are talking about already? First, it is the, the location, the layout of our restaurant, the variety that we have between our wine room, our Four Seasons room, um, the way the bar works when we first come in, we're starting to get a lot more people sitting at the bar now, eating and yeah, eating um, yeah, conversations. I mean, they're spending time there as well. And our, our, our wine menu is extensive, so with our training, we've been able to give more information to our customers about it, and they love it. They Absolutely. The, the, the bar there is so gorgeous. All the little lamps above the bar are hand-blown glass. I mean, a beautiful artistic decor throughout. And just the way that it's laid out, I want to go there in the summer and sit in the Four Seasons room because right here, you want, is it right you're, you're here right. in that area? You, all these windows will open up right here. And it's right at the stoplight, so you see people coming and going, and it's such a great feeling. Yes, Kayla? There's a tree that comes on my It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, and the water you dust the snow will pop up and blow the wind. It's actually real. So when the train came yeah. through, it parted the snow, and it kind of looked like a, a, a story tell, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but we're learning a little bit more and more about it each, each time. But I do enjoy going out there uh, just to visit, say hello to all the new team members. Yes, Kayla. Another thing that's different for this one is we're doing the new crafted cocktails. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have a mixologist? Well, we have two. 
two, uh, Tiffany, yeah. Tiffany, oh, uh, Gabriel's uh, okay. woman yeah. is uh, uh, leading the way there yeah. for the corporate yeah. team. Now, what is the difference between a regular cocktail and a crafted cocktail? Well, they put their, like, it's hard to say, it's hard to We make, uh, they, we infuse a lot of our, um, our syrups and everything that's no. fresh squeezed. Uh, we use a lot of stuff. That you know, oh, that sounds oh, amazing. Nice. Where are my bartenders from some of the other locations? Do we have any? In yes. Do, are you using fresh ingredients and fruits and different things like that as well? Yeah, we like never touch our sourness at all. We use fresh wine and fresh apple. You're from Sterling Heights. Oh, Clarkston. Clarkston, amazing. And we do that in a lot of our other restaurants too, but we're taking it to the next level, the next generation. And, and it is amazing because how many of you, I'm going to ask this question, take a picture of your food when it's presented in a beautiful fashion? That is art. I always take a picture. A lot of our customers do that. I, mean, they drink. <laughs> I take a picture of the drink. I had uh, a pink zebra. It was called. Uh, it was a martini with a chocolate straw, mm -hmm. just because I thought it was so cool, mm -hmm. and I wanted to take a picture of it. And I posted it on my Facebook page. <laughs> How many of you do that? Absolutely, absolutely. So, and I, I got so many hits, and it was right before Valentine's Day. And if you're not doing that in your own restaurant and advertising yourself, you're losing out on money. It's not even about Andiamo getting the money. It's about your paycheck because now you are creating a flow into your restaurant, right? And they want to come and see what you had or what you posted. I had right away, my girlfriend said, me and my, me and my sweetheart would be there on Valentine's Day. We're coming to check it out. So I ended up sending a lot of uh, business out that way. Absolutely. Just by one post on Facebook. Did I talk to anybody personally? No, but they've seen it on my Facebook page, which is really cool. How many people do we have from our board location here today? I know we... Yes, Thomas from our Warren location. We had some of our uh, catering team in here as well. Um, this is our original location. Love it. We just painted the walls. What do you think? I love you. the gray. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is what they call the Flagstar Restaurant or the Mothership. This is the beginning of it all. And so it has a lot of history. And every, every single thing that you see, from the chandeliers to the carpet, all of it has been handpicked. And it all has a story and it all has a meaning. So anytime you see a mural on the wall, anytime you see the chandelier hanging above, it all goes back to Italy. It doesn't just stay in the United States. And you know, I know Tom and Rosalie, Joe, Chef Jim, they travel to Italy all the time. They want to bring that feeling home to us, which I think is amazing. Now, our location uh, here is at 7096 East 14 Mile Road. Um, it was established in 1989. It seems like a long time ago, but that's not long at all for uh, a restaurant to grow this big so fast. All the rooms combined include 650 guests. We have our wine room, we have our Piedmont room, our Roma room, and our, our Palmera room. It's a mouthful, which is our main ballroom. Uh, how many of you were able to attend our holiday party? Raise your hands. Tell us about the holiday party. Me? <laughs> I, I don't see your name tag. I, I can't believe I'm Annabelle. Um, Annabelle, nice to see you. Um, I liked it this year better than last year because there wasn't as much like, speaky like, speeches. Cause that kind of <laughs> it took away from like interacting with everyone. Like, everyone was just talking the whole time up there. But, um, I sat at the Sterling Heights with Alec, but yes. um, yeah, it was cool. I mean, it was fun. It's a good opportunity for everyone to just interact and get your normal clothes and and you, if those were your normal clothes, she looked like a supermodel when she <laughs> came in there. Amazing. Everybody dresses up or they're in whatever they're feeling comfortable with, bringing their family. And this is what impressed me the most. And thank you for sharing your story. What impressed me the most is that Joe and Rosalie shut down every restaurant, every single restaurant, and gave everyone a day off and invited them for an amazing meal, because that's what families do on holidays. 
right? They invite the whole family over, have a big meal, everybody, a dance floor, music, amazing, cocktails, wine, beer if you choose. So every year they throw the party and it's amazing. Also gave away a ticket to Las Vegas, right? They give away cash prizes. I am a personal witness to that, I want $200. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I never win anything. And you know, they give a little raffle so everybody gets those tickets when they walk in the door. So that was really exciting. So um, when I say that this is a great family to work for, it is a great family to work for. You should be bragging all the time on where you work, right? How many do that? Yeah. <laughs> tell me what you say, Laura. Or is it Lauren? Lauren. What do you tell people about uh, uh, yeah? Well, I just find, I gave them like a lot of other restaurants like Bubba's and like Cover because it just was completely different for me, so I'm really excited about it. So I just kind of grabbed up and like, yeah, we get to work at Artie Alamo and it's and everything. I get really excited about it. That's great to hear that. That's great. And you know, I, I get excited all the time when I'm telling people about it. Um, it. It's just a great place to work. So after today, you'll get to go and have some more excitement to share. How many of you uh, are starting off brand new? Raise your hand. Denise, what is your position? Uh, server. Server. And which restaurant do you work Clarkston. at? Clarkston. Clarkston. And tell me something about Clarkston. Uh, I've lived there for 20 plus years. I love the area. I came from the palace. Opened and closed in Dallas 29 years. Wow. And it's five, you know, markets. So to come from there, I'm very blessed and grateful to be able to come into my new house and I'll hopefully continue what I've been doing. Absolutely, and welcome. Absolutely. And one of the things of Clarkston that I found, it's a quaint little town, but it's growing like crazy, isn't it? I mean, there's a restaurant popping up on every corner. There's so many restaurants, and, and I've been to Clarkston. I want to check out the competition. I'm not just up here training and recruiting. I want to see what's going on. Who is up, where are the best team members going? Are they coming to Andiamo to be a part of our team, or are they going to Hancho's? Are they going to the Fed? How many of you are familiar with Clarkston? Raise your hand. So you know they have some pretty cool restaurants out there. But at the end of the day, when you walk into Andiamo Clarkston, there's a feeling that is not at any of those other restaurants. The other restaurants, they have the cool and the latest and the greatest and this and that and all the bells and the whistles, but there's something different about Andiamo when you walk in there. Do you agree? Absolutely. That's where memories are being made right there. That's where I want to have my memory. It's a warm feeling. It's a hug. Even the bar. The bar is such a cool bar, and that's with all of the Andiamos, and that's what I've noticed in every single restaurant. When you go in, what is the center focal point? The bar. The bar. The bar, and every single one, and why? Why is that, do you think? It's your selling point. Ramona, are you a bartender? You do bartend, so you understand that that's where uh, memories are made also, but also that's where people want to come every night of the week and hang out at the bar or come to the happy hour, right? That's the fun part. Now here at the Warren uh, Banquet area, this is the event center that we're in right here, we have weddings, baby showers, wedding showers, engagement parties, rehearsal dinners, corporate lunches, baptisms, anniversaries, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs. So when I say that the memories are being made, where do they want to come? Here. They want to come here. That's right. And those traditions are passed on from generation to generation. And some people, they say, well, you know what, Marie Therese, we have an older crowd. How many of you agree with we have an older crowd? We do have an older crowd, but guess what? That older crowd has children and grandchildren. And when daddy dies and mommy passes on, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to their favorite restaurant because we wanna remember what they remembered. We wanna be a part of what they were a part of and they loved so much. And you really don't think about that until your loved one passes away. And I don't know if any of you've ever had a loved one that passed away. But you want to grab a hold of everything that was precious to them, and you want to embrace it. Do you agree with that? 
And so are we ever going to lose that precious business? Are we ever going to have to worry about getting a younger crowd in here? No, because they're always going to want to be where their parents are making memories, where their grandparents are making <coughs> memories, and why is it special to them, right? At least that's how I feel about it. How many of you have been to our celebrity showroom? Any of you? Excellent. Um, this is amazing. Um, right next door, all of this opens up actually for our celebrity showroom where we have entertainment. We should constantly be giving out the pamphlets for our entertainment. It is amazing. Every single restaurant throughout our Antiamo family and our in our Jomir uh, family as well should be inviting uh, people here. Who can tell me the next event that we're really promoting? Yes, Joe. Frank Sinatra. Thank Frank Sinatra. Tom? This weekend is a Peebo Bryson and we also have an Elvis impersonator. Peebo Bryson and an Elvis impersonator. And so that's exciting. Our, our folks, they need to know that. Do we have someone um, that is going to be driving down from Fenton to bring our people that want to join for dinner here? Do we have that transportation, do you know, set up out that way? Yeah. We do? Yeah, okay. There's shuttles. We, we have shuttles, and so this is what we need to be promoting, these tickets. We're going to have them in. We're going to have them for dinner, right? Now they're going to be going to a show. They're going to be pampered. They're going to... The tip is included. I mean, you guys are all taken care of. You're, you're taken care of. All I know is my aunt and uncle, they go to just about every single show that Antiamo has. They love this place. When you see a couple walking in, uh, they're going to be just the average looking couple. They're going to probably spend $800 every time they come in because they're going to order a bottle of wine. They're going to bring in their friends. They're gonna have two bottles of wine. They're gonna have the, my uncle wants the finest steak that you make. He wants the finest lobster. They love the best of the best of the best. So when you see a couple come in, just a couple for two, don't ever judge that that's gonna be a low ticket, right? You can get them some of the highest tickets. How many agree with that? How many are a witness? Absolutely, absolutely. So we wanna promote our celebrity showroom. How many are doing that right now? Raise your hand. Be honest. Okay. Eventually, I want to see everybody's hand because even if you're in the back of the house, you still have that opportunity to pick up that pamphlet and hand it out to people that you know and love or to post it on Facebook to say, hey, come on down. We have an Elvis impersonator. How many of our team would love that or our, our, our guests would love that? A lot of them, they love Elvis. <laughs> Just say it, Elvis was a big deal back in the day. And especially if you have a really good impersonator, then it's fun, it's a lot of fun. We also, we our catering ladies have left us, but we also have a catering team where we uh, go in for corporate events, social events, at preferred venues, festivals and event management. What does that look like? What are some of the things we host downtown? The fireworks? Tom? Grand Prix fireworks. We're opening day coming up for the Tiger for CBS Radio. The boat racing, jazz fest, uh, fireworks. Uh, hopefully, we can just see if we can secure the PGA because we should hear something this week. Yay! That is awesome. Just about all the major events that happen on the weekend, both hospitality and concessions. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Did you want to say something, Cliff? Face Fest is part of all of the Google restaurants. We're part of that. Yeah, but that's not something that we host in addition to. How many of you knew that we were involved in all of those things? Like. I think that's amazing. We're part of the Grand Prix. Um, and I know that Chef, you know, he brings in, uh, we work with, um, uh, I believe it's a, mini, a, a junior college, a culinary college up north in Port Huron. 
And what we do is we get a lot of them that are wanting, that are almost ready to graduate, and we bring them down to do an internship or an externship with us and be a part of that. It is so cool. I don't know if they take volunteers to, to do that from all of our restaurants, but it is a cool place to be, and you want to be in the mix of that and be a part of that. If anybody's looking to secure an extra dollars this summer, we are uh, always looking to pull from within our organization before we go outside. For the Grand Prix, we have three, four hundred employees that we, you know, we use on a weekend. So wow. we can always facilitate um, our restaurants for Anybody's interested, you know, forward that to your managers and say, hey, I'd like to, it's kind of fun. You're out of your location, you can bribe some people, you represent, you can get food, you feed you well, you make some money. That's awesome. And you get, a, you get to be right in the mix of it all. You know, that's exciting to be a part of our city, Detroit, and be a part of everything that's up and coming and growing. And for Antiamo to be rooted in all of that, that's grounded and rooted in the mix of it because we have, we're not just doing that this year, we've done that for years. And so, you know, Joe uh, and Rosalie, they're highly respected in the community, highly respected. How many of you today are from Bloomfield? West Bloomfield, raise your hand. Excellent, excellent. How many of you love working there? So much fun, isn't it? I do too. I love being out there. I mean, I love all of the restaurants, but that's just a very cool place to be. It's absolutely beautiful. You see the bar here and then um, the room in the back, the Tuscan room, that opens up to 60 people. We have a lot of private uh, dining events in the room, wine tastings and dinners, pairings. Beautiful room. And then their main dining room, here is absolutely stunning. And then they have the ground floor, which is, I don't even want to call it a basement because it's not really a basement, but there's a lower level and they have an elevator in there that takes you down to the lower level. And I'm not going to lie, that elevator kind of freaks me out. <laughs> but it's still very cool because it's older. So it has character. Um, and it's just a very cool place to be. So our last two trainings were in West Bloomfield. And uh, it was just a, an awesome experience. Everyone there is so kind uh, and so helpful. So I do encourage you all to visit each one of our restaurants if you have not. How many of you have visited all of our restaurants? Raise your hand. Oh, yeah, you have to. It's an experience because every single one of them has their own personality. So if I tell you I love every single one of them, I do. But for each of them, uh, a different reason. A different reason. How about Dearborn? How many of you are here from Dearborn today? Raise your hand. Excellent. So Rami brought you in and sent you here today. Nice, nice. I love Dearborn. Tell me, Bahad, what is it about Dearborn location that you love? Uh, we serve our food halal, so we expand to like the Muslim community too. So you cater to your Muslim community? Yeah, and I'm Muslim too, so. That's awesome. So tell us what that means. So that's like how we like our food, like cut and prepared according to our religion. See, that's beautiful. Now you're going to make me cry. And that's important that we do that. Because that community, that's predominantly Arabic community, right? Yeah. And that community is rooted and grounded there. And that's a family all by itself. So that's Andiamo family joining with the Arabic family um, in that area. And one of the things that I really love about Dearborn is that it backs up into the river and into the woods. And there is a, a dining room, it's called uh, the Logia Room. It seats up to 50 people and the patio room and it overlooks all open, wide open, the, the I want to call it the forest, but the woods and the river. And it has trails, you can go walking back there. Absolutely stunning, stunning, beautiful. Um, they have the old world Italian private dining room, which has painted murals on the wall. Absolutely gorgeous. The avenue room and the dining room. Now the dining room, 
itself, it seats up to 230 guests. Then you have the Old World Italian private room that seats up to 150 guests. The Avenue room seats 24 guests. It's a long table. Beautiful long table, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the Loggia room seats up to 50 guests, and the patio room seats up to 80 guests. It's located in Dearborn, right off of Michigan Avenue. This is one of the first Antiamo restaurants that I ever went to, and I was so impressed. The first one was in Royal Oak, um, and then this was the second one that I went to. Absolutely stunning. How many of you have been to the Dearborn location? Raise your hands. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me see my Sterling Heights people again. Nice to have you in. Thank you for coming today. Sterling Heights uh, is gorgeous. It seats up to uh, 375 guests in the dining rooms, and the patio seats up to 60. So over here is the patio area, and it is so cool. I love that patio area. The bar is right there, so you can bring in, you know, all of the guests. There is a strip mall back there. How many of you are being affected by the business that just came in? Is it BJ's, the brewery? Is it affecting your business at all? And I remember talking to some of uh, the team members there. They thought that that was really going to affect the business, but it hasn't. No, because it's a different type of clientele. Different type of clientele. So it is very beautiful over there as well. How many of you have been to our Sterling Heights location? Raise your hand. Well, you're gonna have to get there because there's great shopping out that way and it's a great place to eat. And Lenny, the GM, he is so kind, very hospitable, very kind. Detroit Riverfront, where are my Detroit Riverfront people? Excellent, and your name, sir? Adrian, Adrian, welcome. Tell me what you love about working down there on the river. Uh, the view of Canada. The view of Canada. What is it about the view that you like the most? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I like looking at the casino because it just lights <laughs> up the river, doesn't it? It does. It's very pretty. I think so. But um, if you have not been. First, let me ask you, how many have been to Andiamo Riverfront? Raise your hands. If you have not been, you have to go. I'm not, I'm not even asking you to go. I'm telling you, go. Just because it's absolutely stunning. The dining room, but you see this wall right here? That is all open glass overlooking the Detroit River and Canada. And it is stunning. And you have the sidewalk right there in front of you. People are coming to and from. And when I worked at MGM Grand, where did we go for lunch? It was an MGM Grand. <laughs> we wanted to get out because there's no windows in the casino. Not really. And that's on purpose. Um, and so how, you know, we wanted to see if it was a warm, sunny day. And, you know, we would walk down there to Andiamo. We would actually walk there. High heels and all. Yeah, in my suit. It would be 110 and I'd still be walking there. Um, and to sit in the Andiamo dining room and just relax and to be pampered for lunchtime, you know, after a hard day's work. It is so stunning. And in here, I like it because it's a little bit different. They have what's called the, the Galleria K that seats up to 30 people, very intimate area. They also have the Galleria B. Uh, it has its own private bar and its own restrooms. You don't even have to leave the room. So, I mean, if you really want to plan an event, that's where you want to plan it. That is such a cool area. And then it also has the Presto Cafe, which is located because it's in the GM building. Do you know where that is? Like the Renaissance Center, it's called. Um, and so it's in the, um, the ground floor. And when you go in there, it's like uh, a Chetseria. I think I'm saying that correctly, right, Nick? Am I getting close to it? Right. Yeah, and, and but it's just open area, open seating, and it's like a fast food, but it's homemade food, and you can't believe how crowded it gets. Yeah, uh, oh gosh, what's his name that has the Quicken Loans down there? All of his folks are down there all the time, bringing in tons of business. It's a great place to be. But the Presto Cafe, located in the GM Winter Garden, can accommodate groups from 20 to 200 people. 
It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. And right above that is the Joe Mir Seafood Restaurant upstairs. So cool, I love it. Kill two birds with one stone when you're down there. Okay, where are my Clarkston folks again? Beautiful, welcome, thank you for driving. I appreciate that. I love it out there, just check it out. Look at that, oh, my bad. Hold on, let me get back there. The wall, pushing the right button. The brick is so beautiful. It just, it's really beautiful. They have a banquet facility that accommodates between 20 and 80 guests, a private room that seats up to 80 guests, the dining room itself hosts up to 341 guests, and then the outdoor patio seats 70. And that patio is beautiful. <coughs> now, I, I just started working for Joe McCary Restaurant Group in September. So I want to get there in the summertime and have lunch and just really take in that ambiance. It's located right off of I-75. So as you exit the freeway, you'll want to look immediately to the left or you're going to miss it and you're going to end up downtown. But it's immediately to the left and it's in a strip mall, like a little strip mall area. And then it's, it's got a cozy corner. I call it the cozy corner it, that it's located and nested in. But it's a very cool location. It's kind of off the grid. So, you know, you, when you're going there, you want to have a nice luncheon, you want to have a private moment, you can definitely gain that ambiance there. So, let me ask you this. Is it Danielle? Yeah. You come from Clarkston and at the Antiamo restaurant. What is What are the features that really grab you? Sips, and I like that they have live entertainment every like, Tuesday and Thursday, I believe. The live entertainment. Yes. And so what kind of music do they play? Um, there's a few different like guitarists and singers. How cool is that? Cool. Like an acoustic kind yeah, of ensemble. Right inside the restaurant. Yes, it's beautiful. Yes. Are they like local bands or who do they bring in? For um, it, it's like a group of singers. Yeah, we have um, a couple from Indiana who brings in a lot of cool local talent. So it's actually quite cool to, and like, they come in all the time too when they're not working. That's awesome. So it's local. Did you have a band that you want to sign? Is that it? No, no, I have band. No, no, no. And that, and how many of our other restaurants have live entertainment? I think just about all of them do. Yeah, and that's what, that's what I love about uh, Diamo. You know, we're really catering to our guests. We love them. We want them to love us back. And so what are we doing? We're bringing high end. How many of you have ever been to Morocco? Raise your hand. I've never been to Morocco either, but I was there last night on 60 Minutes. <laughs> I was watching the program while I was cooking, and I see that Morocco has some of the wealthiest people in the world. They're sitting on their yachts, and they're drinking their wine, and their cocktails, and they're watching their, the live entertainment, and they're off in this world all of their own. And you know what I thought of right away? That reminds me of Andy Elmo. Because we, have all of those elements in our restaurant. Every single element that they have when they're catering to the rich and famous are in our restaurant. Were you aware of that? Except we don't have the yachts. <laughs> <laughs> but they can pull up, absolutely, pull up outside uh, the uh, downtown location. <laughs> then we have our Livonia location. How many of you are from Livonia today? Raise your hands. No Livonia. May I ask if you're from Livonia? I'm not, no. That's okay. I was kind of hoping you'd be from Livonia. Now, Livonia is also a trattoria. It is a different color now. We have painted it since. It's a yellow, um, a very cool location. It's off of Seven Mile and I-275. How many of you have ever been to our Livonia location? Yeah, Livonia is very fun as well. Now, their dining room seats up to 350 guests. It also has the patio that seats up to 25 guests. Just a little intimate area right here. Now, it is in a business uh, kind of area. So there's buildings behind us. That I believe it is the Chrono Center and some other buildings behind us. So it's great for lunch and dinner. We have the Sun Room, which can seat up to 60 guests. The Tuscan Room, which seats up to 40 guests. And then the Wine Room, that seats up to 20 
eight or twenty yeah twenty eight guests, and it was uh, established in two thousand and seven. So, like I said, it is located on West Seven Mile Road. So, if you're ever in that area, and there are a lot of restaurants growing in that area, how many of you ever just go into that area just to eat? Raise your hands. They have just built some more fine dining restaurants in that area, as well as some steakhouses. Um, so the competition is fierce out that way, uh, and we have to maintain that loyalty. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How do we do that? And then our next generation of Benton, raise your hands again. Yay, thank you for coming out. And our Fenton location is located at 102 West Silver Lake Road, Suite 100 in Fenton, Michigan. And it was established this year. We opened in February, I believe it was February the 4th, the 6th, to the public, to the public on February the 6th. And uh, the seating capacity is 260 guests. You have to go there just to see the layout of this restaurant. It is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. It's not stuffy, it's just kind of a long uh, restaurant. I just hard to describe it. I don't want to butcher it by saying the wrong thing. But you'll see here, Dominic, he's standing by the bar. It just, it, he's just glowing there. And then there is, um, which, what is this room called? All season room. The all season room. And the light that is in there is the, uh, the letter A for Andiamo. All hand blown glass. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. So if you have not been out to Fenton, make it a road trip for a day. You know, bring somebody that you love hanging out with and just go there and check it out. I invite you to. How many of you knew that we had an Antiamo in Las Vegas? Yes, the number one steakhouse, the number one voted best restaurant in Las Vegas by TripAdvisor. Yes, every year since we've been there, every single year. It's a very intimate restaurant. This is about as big as it gets. This is what you see. It's located in the D which represents Detroit. I don't know why they didn't do the old English D, but it's in the D. I think that's so cool. And we get so many celebrities coming into Andiamo restaurant. I had young one, uh, young, one young man who wanted to transfer there because he uh, received a scholarship for nursing, and they have 10 servers only. And it's a very coveted position. They're driving BMWs out that way. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So I encourage you to get out there. We also have an Andiamo at the airport. Did you know that? How many of you were aware we had an Andiamo at the airport? Oh, and it smells so good when you're walking by that section. <laughs> it's so nice. And that was established in 2015. And the Andiamo Restaurant Group has earned the Food and Beverage Concept Award from the Airport Revenue News for the location at the Detroit Metropolitan Wake County Airports. Absolutely stunning. Everybody that works there loves working there. And there are other restaurants within uh, the airport as well. How many of you knew that we had an Andiamo food truck? Yay! I remember hearing about this one on the news and how we were uh, giving food to homeless people. Yes, I thought that was so, you know, that touched my heart. But we offer a menu, so we travel around, an amazing menu, and I wanted to put this on here, uh, all the way from calamari to the sausage and peppers. How many of you have tasted our calamari? Sausage and peppers? Oh, I love those. Uh, pasta with meatballs and some brand new dishes with an Italian street food flair. So we have a meatball sub. We have mozzarella batoni, which are crispy fried mozzarella sticks. Uh, eggplant rotolini, I think that's how you say that. Panini and salads. It's beautiful. How many have seen the Andiamo food truck downtown? Yeah. Isn't it parked there in, in it's Dearborn? Like Dearborn? It sure is. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's where you'll see it, where it loads up and heads on out, right? 
Then we have Vito's Bakery. How many of you know about Vito's Bakery? So when we say all of our pastries, all of our cakes, all of those beautiful delicacies are made, homemade, in-house. This is where they're being made. I know Joe Muir Seafood Food. They also have a baker named Teresa, pastry chef. And also in downtown Joe Muir Seafood, we also have a pastry chef. So we do believe in housing our own. Uh, we actually started business. Uh, the young man that was going to sell this business was a family. And uh, Joe and Rosalie were ready to expand their bakery because this is the commissary location, Warren location. So they were looking to expand and the gentleman was selling Vito's. He came to Joe and approached him. Why? Because he knew Joe's integrity with the business and he did not want to sell it to somebody that was just going to let it die. It was a family business, they put their whole life into this business, and they wanted it to be carried on in a manner and by a family that was going to treat it with respect. And so they chose uh, Joe Vicari and Rosalie Vicari, and then we just incorporated, incorporated it into every single restaurant. Did you know that? Tell them, is it true they have the best cannolis ever? Yes, made fresh. Yeah, made fresh. And it's amazing, it's amazing. So if you have not been there, I truly recommend that you uh, go to Vito's Bakery. It's located in Clinton Township, but it's worth the drive. Like how many people on Fat Tuesday were ready to make a drive to get their punch keys? <laughs> a lot of people. Were you waiting in line early in the morning? Mm -hmm. How early did you get there, Missy? I think 4.30. 4.30? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, it opened at five, and there were still people waiting before me. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah. So when you find a good bakery, you're going to travel there. You're going to get there early, and you're going to remember them on every special occasion because you know they're not going to let you down, right? You know you can depend on them, and you can count on them, and that's where the consistency comes in. So now we have a feature presentation, so sit tight.